Hello people and welcome back to John Shepherd Fitness. Today we are talking about one of my favourite fitness guys and that is Andrew Jacks. If you don't know, he was he's recently training to go in his first bodybuilding competition and he's done his first competition. And guess what? He won and wow, he looked huge. He is officially classed as a pro but he's not a I would say a proper pro. He can't actually go into the like Olympia and Arnold's. I'll tell you why. But um, yeah, let's just go through the pictures. And as, at the end of the video, I'm going to see if he really can compete against the people in this category. He went for a competition as classic physique in the Elite League in Dubai. You can win a pro card in this. If you win, you get a pro card, but it's not like a pro card where you can just go and enter for the Olympia then. It's, um, I would say it's one below. It's, it doesn't officially, it's not officially classed as a pro card. You know, you, you are a pro, but you can't go in like the pro cards. Don't know why. Um, if anybody does know, let me know. To win, to go into the Arnold's and Olympia, you've got to win an NPC card, and that basically entitles you to actually being an official pro. You can go and enter for the Arnold's or the Olympia, um, you know, where you will be classed as the best in the world. So, if we go for the pictures and what he did, I've got a few pictures, and I've got also got a bit of filmage um, from the event, um, and. He just looks absolutely huge. I mean, this guy weighed in at 290 pounds. Yes. This is classic physique. This is the same league, the same category as Chris Bumstead. Going to go through that in a bit. I actually think he's in the wrong category. But look at the pictures. I mean, he is a monster. I mean, I admire a few physiques but his physique his physique if i could have a physique it would be his he is absolutely huge but he's also a genuinely looks a really really nice person he's so polite you know he just gets on with his work he he, he if you don't know him and you've never seen him before you need to go and check him out he's obviously got a youtube channel now because he really got famous through larry wheels and it's He's, he's became a little celebrity in his own right because he is a bodybuilder where Larry Wills is a powerlifter and he's strong. He's very, very strong. I remember watching a video with him and Brandon Harding and people thought Brandon Harding was strong, you know, for a bodybuilder. He, he, this guy weighs double Brandon Harding. This guy lifts more than Brandon Harding does on his heavy set. This, he's got crazy strength. He's got absolutely brilliant genetics. And you gotta remember, he's only just beginning his journey in bodybuilding. And this is what he looks like already. Also, Andrew Jacks is flexible. This bloke can do the splits. He can put his leg over his head. He's, he's got it all, man. He has, he's just, he's crazy. I mean, I've never ever seen a person who's built like him doing splits doing he actually did the splits as you can see doing the splits on stage I mean how you imagine something like Big Ramy doing that on stage right it's absolutely amazing it's so funny and he deserves it by far he absolutely deserves this win I when I knew he was going in for a competition, the other people have got no chance against him. I mean, he was big before he even started this, but you know, he's just I can't I can't rate him enough. He's just all round brilliant physique, really nice person, and he just he just killed the competition. He he just absolutely killed the competition. So obviously now he's won this, he really needs to go into the MPC winner, winner, winner competition in that, which I think he could. But I'm now gonna talk about what he was wearing. He's wearing a little, a little top.
tight pants, which is quite weird because obviously in classic physique, they wear, you know, your little undies and there's no rules where, what you can wear or not. Actually, I think somebody in the, uh, in the Olympia wore something like this as well and he got slated. Um, but he doesn't need to wear that. He needs to obviously wear his uh, little thong next time, maybe because it's in Dubai, maybe they're not, I don't know. There might be some law about not showing your, your bare bottom in Dubai, you know, it is a strict country, you know, it is a strict country, so there might be some sort of rule, we don't know. Like I say, if you do know more about this, then comment down below. But what I've got down here is some actual statistics, which is going to be quite interesting to you. And it, I want you all to comment. People are watching this now. I want you to comment down below and start a discussion about it, because I think it's a really good discussion. And obviously, he's weighing in at 290, right? Chris Bond said, when we watch him compete, he's just like a giant. He, he's massive compared to all the people he competes against in the Olympia. And he, at the last Olympia, was weighing around 225, you know, pounds. And Andrew Jacked is way over that. I mean, he is hitting the same weight as Big Ramy in you know the the main event and it's it's crazy that is he in the right league could he actually go for the top top you know mr olympia in future because we have only seen him at the start give him another five years and he's got he could be 350 pound easily people admire chris bumstead's physique he, Chris, Chris Bum says physique, I think he's still better in that classic physique, but for sheer size, I think Andrew Jacks beats him. You know, there was all that big debate with uh, Big Ramy and Chris Bumstead if he should move up and compete against them, you know, if he put more weight on. But I think he's quite happy with that weight because he, he knows he's the big guy in that. And he would actually be the small guy if he moved up the weight. But Andrew Jacks is in that in that predicament now, where he he's he's absolutely massive for a men's physique to go at two ninety is huge. He should be competing against Phil Heath, you know, like Big Ramy um, and all them lot, because he weighs as much as them, you know. And he looks good for it, you know, he's very, very, like I was saying, he's very, very tapered and he's got the perfect physique, you know, the classic physique and he's got the weight as well. So should he really be thinking about competing against them? Maybe while he's new at this, go for an event like that and see if he can win one of them. You know, obviously when you're against one of them, it, Obviously, when you're bigger than somebody else, you do look a lot better. Obviously, when we saw the picture of Chris Bumstead and Big Ramy posing together, Chris Bumstead looked small compared to Big Ramy. Not in, obviously, height, but in sheer volume. And um, would his classic physique be good to face Big Ramy? We don't know. We won't, might never know. But Andrew Jacks has got that physique where he can... He could be maybe a contender for both categories. He could go in men's physique and win that and then obviously compete in the, the main event as well. He could do both. I really, really do think he could do both. Look at the comparison side by side, Andrew Jacks to Chris Bumstead. Andrew Jacks is miles bigger. He's miles bigger. And these are in the same category. Who would you choose? Sheer muscle. Andrew Jacks wins, but uh, for looks, you know, and the whole package, obviously Seabum always is the best. But who said that Andrew Jacks can't look like that, you know? Um, it's it's a real good debate, and as I say, comment down below, what do you think, you know, where do you think he should be going in, you know? Is this league just a bit too, I would say, small for him he, you know he's he's naturally ripped at 
290. He's actually ripped at 290. So he could he could shred down more and and then look even better, maybe. But he wouldn't be able to cut down much more without losing a bit of size. Or could he? Could he just go into face against Big Grammy maybe in a few years' time and and all the rest of them and give it a go? What's he got to lose? You know, what has he got to lose? Anyway, I hope you like this video. It, I, you know, I, I when I saw this last night, I thought I'm going to do a video about this because this, you know, I do really like Andrew Jacks, and you know, he's one of the people that I I really do want to meet and I would love to train with him even though he would destroy me but he deserves everything that he is, he gets because he is generally a decent person you know I think he's one of the nicest people in fitness and a lot of people should look at him and be inspired by him that is the way you train this is the way how you treat people so polite anyway hope you enjoyed this if you did, give us a massive thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Goodbye.